we do something together. I have not vlogged in a minute. I had actually in my last vlog told you guys that the next vlog would be the anniversary in quarantine and it has been weeks now since that, since our actual anniversary day. All we did was kind of like stay home and you know we had dinner and stuff but we were like chilling and we just had like a movie night. We were just kind of like reminiscing that day and looking at pictures and stuff from our wedding so that vlog, <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna make it anymore because that was a few weeks ago now like our actual anniversary so oh, yeah. we got so busy with renovating because now that we have a little more time it's been really productive with uh, doing like some changes yeah. in the house and I can't wait to show you guys a nice vlog of us decorating this office and everything but I hope you guys enjoy this we're gonna make some food that should be fun so cute they gave me hella like spring and summer vibes you guys oh, so skinny because I recently got <laughs> we're like vlogging at the same time Brian and we'll go have the same burger pizza case I'm hungry you guys I have been a little bit off my vlog game just a tad and that is because we're actually like remodeling and doing some stuff in the house I just feel like I have so much time on my hands recently. I'm in Riverside right now There's people that get confused every time I'm here People think that I don't live in LA anymore or every time I'm in LA people don't think I live in this house anymore Whenever I'm not over there like people will be like wait does she not live there anymore or whenever I'm in LA They're like wait she doesn't live in that house anymore I feel both of them are like truly my home, but nothing will feel like this you know like this is like my house house so I love the apartment and everything too, uh, but right now we're in quarantine. I've been here. I haven't been in LA in a while actually, and I kind of miss it a little bit. But also, I'm like thriving out here. Like, I like it. Today we're gonna make some chilaquiles, and let me show you what we're gonna use. Mara's actually gonna come in right now and help me. We're gonna do this together. She's letting me borrow this mandil. Man, mandil. She's letting me borrow this mandil, which is kind of tragic because it says happiness is a cupcake away. It should have said happiness is a chilaquile away. <laughs> Bitch, imagine when the kitchen's white. Oh my god, you guys. Yeah, so the cooking videos of it all. I feel like I look fatter in this thing, Myra. Let me show you guys a sneak peek of the. Oh, shh. Drop the hand sanitizer. This is like what's going on in the office. I actually vlogged the whole thing, so I'll make sure to. It's lighting. I vlogged the whole thing, so I'll make sure to uh, show you guys that later. I just want to address real quick that these chilaquiles are not the ones that I usually make. I like the, the red ones. I also love anything like with green sauce, so I think they're gonna be wrong. I do want to say. Before you know, we get judged and all for not knowing how to cook. Like, I know how to make the salsa by hand, but in this case, you guys, um, I'm using Las Palmas green enchilada sauce. Oh, and I know you're green? thinking, yeah, because I, I don't have the chiles for the red sauce. So I just want to address it, okay? I've made it before with a salsa, the red salsa, where like, you know, you use the tomates, you use the chili and everything, and you make your own sauce. But in this case, we do not have any more chiles of the ones that I want. So I definitely never used this before. I've also never made green oh enchiladas. God, I, like I mean, huge for this. <laughs> I've also never made green chilaquiles before. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm like square with this. If you're watching this, this is definitely gonna be an easy method. Girl, we got dragged in that video. I'm gonna and I that. literally, but that was a really, like we're not used to making Chinese food. Like y'all didn't give us a break too. <laughs> like, I, like that's just a dish we were not familiar with. I could confidently say that I feel like I know how to cook. I'm sorry. Period. I'm sorry, maybe it's not like my mom's cooking, but my man loves my food. I love my food. Today, the original plan was to actually make the red the red chilaquiles, which is using the tomato, the chile, and everything, you know, like making the salsa by hand. But we could not find any chile, so I was like, oh my gosh, they're gonna drag me saying I don't know how to cook. Anyway, it's fine. I'm gonna use um, some onion, cooking oil, of course, for your tortillas. Some tortillas. Oh, and I cannot forget the egg. We're gonna start frying the, the tortillas into chips. We're gonna start off with these. And I'm gonna do a few at a time because I want them to cook fast. We're gonna let them get nice and golden. And the reason I like to get them um, like super crispy is because I'm gonna put the salsa and cook them with the salsa and they'll get a little soggy. Uh, like they'll, not too soggy, but you know, they won't be as crunchy. I know there's people that make them semi crunchy and then they add the sauce like on the side. Um, but I like to add everything in the pan and that's why I'm making them extra crunchy. We're gonna add some napkins over here. Let's... What while this lives, girl? Oh God. You racking up the tips. <laughs> what is the reason? <laughs> We're gonna put some napkins down just so they Your could drain. The city. Yeah, they are. That's perfect, Maria. <laughs> This is how golden we want ours to look. All right, we got our chips. Myra is going to start uh, whipping up the eggs. We're adding about five eggs on there. It depends on how eggy you want it. I like my I like mine coated in egg. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the onion and the chips in here. I took some of that oil out. We're adding the onion. We're adding the chips back in. 
the onion gets sauteed into the well with the with the chips. As I'm sauteing the onion, which is gonna be really fast, literally like a minute or two of sauteing it, Myra is prepping the eggs. We added a little bit of salt. We're gonna add the eggs. So we're gonna add the eggs in. And we're just gonna let it cook up together. I actually like mine super eggy. I don't know about you, Myra. There's different ways of doing it. Some people like to cook it on the side because some people like sunny side up, some people like you know, um, different egg styles, but I like to just mix them into the chips. I don't know what it is. I feel like when I make the egg on the side, it feels like they're separate. I don't know. I like the chips coated in the egg. So that's why I do this. So, <laughs> I want to have them nice and coated. Can I see the thing on the side? <laughs> Oh, it's not even showing it that much. Mara likes to have it on the side. It's the same thing. I mean, it's not really a big issue at all, but I like to cook it with my chilaquiles. And that's I like also why they sign up on top. Okay. <laughs> like, yeah, there's different ones. You know when I know something came out good? When my dad likes it. That's when I know it's good. Because my mom, like that woman, I feel like she is so freaking, like, she is amazing at cooking. And you know, if my dad likes my cooking, I'm like, okay, that's when I know it's good. But I mean, I am trying a different sauce today, so we'll see what my dad says today. All right, the egg is ready. We're gonna start pouring our sauce. In this case, we're pouring in, <laughs> this angle's all bad. I'm gonna eyeball it to see how much I need. It's definitely gonna be different this time around, but this is gonna be a taste test for all of us, actually, because we've never used this sauce. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good, Karina. We like to use two different cheeses. We like to use mozzarella cheese. Now again, I know that there's people that use, you know, might not use mozzarella cheese. A mozzarella cheese and queso fresco are both bomb. I think they taste really good together. Yeah. Lastly, we're gonna cover this up, let the cheese melt, and we'll be back when it's ready. All right. They look pretty bomb, I'm not gonna lie. Like, they look really good. Lastly, we're gonna put some, um, Queso fresco on here. Put it on your plate too, but I want to make her look cuter. <laughs> Bitch, I'm ready. Bitch, I'm hungry. <laughs> Bam! Look at that, sweetie. So I'm ready to eat this. Can we try it already, please? I'm going crazy. Now time to taste it, Mara. Damn. Bro. I love the red ones, like the ones with the homemade salsa, but these are so good too. Like yeah. this is a fast recipe. If you guys want to try this out, super easy. Uh, maybe we could make another recipe making the red ones. Super fast, super easy, and bomb. Dime la verdad, está bien. ¿Qué? ¿Están buenos? ¿Sí? ¿Me estás...? No, no, si te diría mentira, si están buenos, ¿por qué te voy a decir mentira? Ok, yay. No están enchilosos como a ti te gustan los rojos, ¿verdad? Okay. Todavía están buenos. No están bravitos, así como van. Está bien. I'm editing this vlog now and just realized that I didn't even make an intro. I mean, an intro, an outro, so I want to close this off. I need another tripod, y'all. I'm like literally sitting you on some weird contraption here in the office, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, comment down below what else you want to see Myra and I cook because we have a lot of fun cooking together. We got so into eating after that I forgot to even like vlog the rest, but well, right now I'm editing. Right now it's actually my little brother's birthday, so we're gonna do pizza and I'm gonna make a cake right now. And that's gonna be um, a separate vlog, but I really wanted to get this up for you guys to get I don't know, like a little fun cooking video with Myra and I. I have a lot of fun cooking with Myra. I feel like we're such a mess together. Like, honestly, truly, like, I have seen Myra cook, like, on her own, like, when she's cooking with Brian and stuff. And then, like, I cook on my own, um, you know, when I'm cooking, like, with our own everything. And I just feel like whenever we're together, it's just like, well, actually, I feel like this went smoothly. But usually, we're like, I don't know what it is about us. Like, we can never take anything serious when we're together. <laughs> but it was, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. Uh, so comment down below anything you guys want to see with Myra and I. I hope you guys are staying home, staying safe, washing your hands. And, you know, we'll all get through this. Dang, it's so crazy. Like, we've all adjusted. I feel like we all have adjusted already to quarantine. But have a great night. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.